Good morning, everyone. It's the 3rd of June, Friday morning. Hope you're having a good week so far and ready for the weekend. You know, down through the years, <clears throat> there have been massive temples and synagogues and churches erected. That is the epitome of idolatry. It matters not which country you go into, you'll find these edifices, whether it's Germany, France, Italy, uh, Central America, Argentina, Brazil, Russia, in Moscow, uh, the United States, Africa, South Africa, doesn't matter where you go, you'll find these massive edifices built. Some of them are called cathedrals, some of them are called temples, some of them are called churches, and some are called synagogues, whatever. <clears throat> However, if you will do a study in the Bible, you'll find that the New Testament church primarily went from house to house. And... uh there was a reason why they met in houses and not huge structures. One is they didn't have a lot of money, like the modern-day <clears throat> church movement so-called has, these mega churches. And uh, also, it was a, a common means of worship, to worship in the house that a person lived in. You know, Jesus himself referred to his abode as his house. In Matthew twenty one thirteen, he said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. <clears throat> and in John two sixteen he says, Make not my father's house a house of merchandise. That's what we find in a lot of these huge edifices, megachurches. It's nothing more than a house of merchandise. Second Corinthians 5, 1, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle was dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. <clears throat> well, another reason that the people met in their houses is because it was a private, intimate fellowship of believers. It wasn't uh, a public assembly, per se. And... You know... <clears throat> The New Testament believers were very protective of each other. They held each other in high esteem because of their fellowship in Christ. And they provided for each other's needs. Okay? And we don't see that in today's modern church. It's all take and no give. Pretty much. <clears throat> Why is that? Why is the modern day church so departed from what Christ uh, set forth for the New Testament church? You know? And oftentimes <clears throat> in scriptures, different people's houses are referred to like the house of an, uh, an Onesiphorus, or uh, going into Peter's house. Um, Paul dwelt two years in his own hired house. That's where he received people that came in unto him, Acts 28.30. You know? And... <clears throat> So I think there's much validity for house churches today. 
we no longer have to be a part of a huge denomination with a name over the door. You know? We are they were called Christians first at Antioch. You know? They didn't have all these different uh huge denominations. Um Acts 5.42 and daily in the temple and every house they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. In every house they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. <coughs> in fact, at Pentecost, when, when the Pentecost came, there was a rushing mighty wind and it filled the house where they were sitting, not the temple, okay? And um, so we see that there's something about people meeting in houses rather than buildings, rather than huge edifices, rather than huge temples or synagogues or mega churches. Or stadiums, okay, and uh, so I think that the reason that we've returned to house churches is it is more the biblical mandate that is found in Scripture, you know, and I I think the house churches are ordained of God <clears throat> you know and it's also um, a sign of hospitality of fellow believers who meet in, from house to house Second John 1 John 1.10 if they're come unto you bring not this doctrine receive him not into your house neither bid him Godspeed okay Philemon 1, 2, and to our beloved Aphia and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church in thy house. <clears throat> Angels visit people's houses. Well, Acts eleven thirteen. And he showed us how he had seen an angel in his house, which stood and said unto him, Send men to Joppa and call for Simon, whose surname is Peter. <clears throat> well, you know, I'm glad that we have representation of house churches in the New Testament. And um, Luke fourteen twenty three, and the Lord said unto the servant, Go on into thy highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. So I would encourage you to do your own study of house churches as found in the New Testament, and you'll find that that was primarily the mode of worship in people's houses. Okay, and First <clears throat> Corinthians sixteen nineteen, the churches of Asia salute you. Aquila and Priscilla salute you much in the Lord with the church that is in their house. <clears throat> We have a little house church here in Pineville, Missouri, and we have weekly services. We also have fellowship calls. We have time of uh, when other people from around the country in their houses meet together in a video conference, and we're all in our own houses. Okay. 
I'm glad that I'm not over a huge edifice, a big old monstrous church with a cross on top or a phallic symbol on the top, you know. And uh, Acts 21:18. And the next day, we that were of Paul's company departed and came into Caesarea and entered into the house of Philip, the evangelist, which was one of the seven and abode with him. You know, well. <clears throat> I think also that the uh, structure of a house church is much greater and much more beneficial than a, than a, um, some of these huge churches where lots of money is spent on it and also just to maintain those churches and those edifices. It's idolatry is what it is. You know, and um, Acts sixteen forty, and they went out of the prison and entered into the house of Lydia. And when they had seen the brethren, they comforted them and departed. encourage you all to um, you know think about house churches and the authenticity of those up against all of these other uh, idolatrous buildings that are built with all kind of names on the outside you know <clears throat> That's kind of what's on my mind this morning. I hope you have a good day today, and let us remember that um, the church of God is not a temple made with hands. There's not going to be any temple in heaven, for Jesus Christ is going to be the light thereof. There's not going to be any need of the sun, and Jesus Christ will be seated on his throne and we will be worshiping Him and praising Him forever in His house. God bless.